Okay, so I know I said in the sh in Geeks that this would be a written portion, but comics are such a visual medium, I decided to make it a video. So, over the last month I've been reading and rereading um, Michael Bendis' Hello Uprising. That's the dust cover and that's the actual cover. That's a nice, it's, a, it's actually, it's a, it's a good story. It, it, it's, if it's almost a year late from when it was originally meant to be released. But um, it covers what happens between Halo 2 and how the Chief ends on our, ends up plummeting through uh, space to land on Earth at the opening of Halo 3. Now, the Chief bits, they're good, but like... I mean, they're better in this than they were in, in, in the Halo book because you, you're visually seeing what's happening. It's not being explained to you. So you're visually seeing what's, what the Chief's doing. Now, he doesn't talk that much, so... He's not that much of a character, but he's very, he's very, very visual what you see happen. But it's the other two characters in this book, the the side story that kind of show why the Covenant are going to lose, like the, the, the explanation for why one man can beat the Covenant, why the Covenant aren't going to win. And it's it's a really interesting, intricate story that just is. It, it's really Halo verse. I mean, Michael, this, and then I mean, the story itself is four issues, so. It's a, it's a fairly short graphic novel, but if you're a fan, it's completely worth it. And then in the back, you get um, you get interviews with the with Michael Bendis and the artist, uh, and you get interviews with Frank O'Connor and stuff. Who Frank isn't working at Bungie anymore. You also get um, concept and cover cover art. So if you're a Halo fan, I definitely recommend this. Um, art's really good. Story, if you're a Halo fan, is fantastic. If you're not a Halo fan, it's entertaining, but probably better if you were a Halo fan. Um, the Michael Bendis is amazing, amazing comic man. He's fantastic. But um, yeah, so I can't recommend this this comic enough. I mean, in, in all honesty, it's a good comic. I mean, if 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 you have if you have a spare a couple of bob lying around, pick up this. I mean, it's Halo fan must have. And if you're a Halo fan, you probably already have it. So preaching to the other people out there who don't have it. Good story, good narrative, Michael Bendis, not much more to say. It's kind of something you should add to your collection if you're a recent collector. If you're a hardcore collector and you don't like a lot of the new stuff and you prefer a lot of the uh, early Alan Moore stuff, not as most recent stuff, it's starting to go a bit senile. Um, yeah, I'd recommend this for almost every gaming fan out there. For comic fans, I don't know, it's... It's very sellout, but um, it's a good read, I think. So check it out. Um, and we'll see you next week for uh, Geeks.